Hi, I'm Abigail, and welcome to my Watch My Story YouTube channel. Please make sure to give us a like and subscribe so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. My life story is not just about me. I want to tell you the story of my life and my two sisters. I was born in an Asian country and in a small town. I also had two sisters named Jennifer and Sonia. There was a great bond between the two of us, and we always had each other's back. We lived in a city and a country where there were traditional ideas. Many people had this belief that a girl who is 18 or 20 should get married ASAP. Well, both of my sisters, along with me, got married at the age of 18 because we were almost the same age. But this is the main point of the story. First of all, let me tell you that my two sisters got married to two brothers named David and Michael. I also married a guy named Chris. And that is how our problems started. Let me start by myself. You must be wondering why. I will tell you how and why. The story is that Chris was both very jealous and did not have a good financial situation either. We were living in a small town and I always wanted to make a family and have a happily ever after with my husband. But the problem was that Chris always thought that I was gonna cheat on him. For example, there was a time that Chris wasn't home and the postman knocked on the door to deliver a letter. Out of the blue, Chris got home and when he saw me and the postman talking to each other, he got so angry and screamed, What the hell are you doing to my wife? Do you want me to kick your ass? Sir, I have nothing to do. I just brought the letter, said the postman, who was shocked and frightened. After making sure that the postman was telling the truth, he took the letter away from him, looked at me in the eye and said, Get inside. Don't stand here. I think you understand what I mean now and realize what kind of a person he is. You may not believe it, but during those years that I was Chris's wife, he never let me go out or hang out with friends. He also wouldn't let me talk to any man either. And because at that time, women didn't know much about their rights, etc. I didn't know what to do or how to find a solution for it. Long story short, my life continued. After a year, I got pregnant and Chris and I officially became the parents of a little girl named Lisa. I thought Chris's behavior would get better with the birth of Lisa, but it did not change at all. Until after five years of misery, I got a divorce from him. Why was it difficult? Because Chris was not willing to accept this separation and I struggled so hard to be able to get a divorce. Of course, Chris said he would accept it. Only and only if Lisa gets to live with him instead of me. I made one of the hardest and perhaps best decisions of my life here and even though I was a mother and not seeing my child was like hell for me, I accepted it and was only allowed to see Lisa once a week. Before I continue this story, let me tell you what happened after I got a divorce. I'm gonna talk about my sister's marriage. As I said, Jennifer and Sonia married two brothers named David and Michael. Jennifer married David and Sonia married Michael. They experienced a better life and marriage than mine. Basically, their husbands were treating them way better than how Chris was treating me. They also had a better financial situation. Unlike Chris, these two brothers had a good financial status. Even after two years of marriage, they decided to immigrate to UAE for work and a better life. When I was thinking about my sisters and how they were enjoying their life, I got both happy and sad. I was happy because I saw how they were enjoying their life in joy and peace. And I was sad because I suffered so much in my life because of my marriage with Chris and we never had enough money for a living. 
Long story short, after a few years, Jennifer was diagnosed with cancer, unfortunately. This was exactly one of the worst news I've ever heard in my entire life. The fact that this is happening to your only sister and the person you love so much would drive you crazy. After Jennifer became sick, David's behavior started to change. Even though Jennifer was so sick, but he wouldn't care and he wasn't helping at all. David wouldn't even go to the hospital to pay her a visit, and this was torturing Jennifer mentally. When you get sick, you expect your significant other to be the first person who helps you and is there for you when you need them. Not to leave you die! Sonia once told Michael, who happened to be David's brother, Don't you want to tell your brother to take care of my sister? He's her husband after all, and she's sick and dying. Michael said, Darling, how is that my problem? Okay, I'll tell him to do this, but David is not listening. Sonia got angry and said, What do you mean he wouldn't listen? What an ass of a brother you have! What if you're just like him as well? Why does it matter? I'll tell him. Don't argue with me. Then he went out of the room. Michael told David to look after Jennifer more and spend time with her for a while, but there was no change in David's behavior. Meanwhile, after I separated from Chris, I went to Dubai to be with my sister in her last few days. I didn't know how many more days she had left. All three of us were back together again, but with the difference that one of us was very ill. And what made her lose her motivation for fighting for her life was her husband's insane negligence. David literally didn't care, and it was making me and Sonia mad. Three months passed, and David's behavior continued, and he was very carefree, and Jennifer was getting worse and worse each day. And this issue of David's negligence had a negative impact on Sonia as well. She was mad and constantly argued with Michael about why his brother was an asshole who doesn't care about his sick wife. Nothing was getting better, and unfortunately, Jennifer passed away. I don't want to explain how she died or how my sister and I were dealing with it. I don't want to make any of you sad by spreading negative energy. But Jennifer's death had a pretty bad impact on Sonia's life, and she decided to separate from Michael. You may say to yourself that it wasn't Michael's fault after all, and there wasn't anything he could do about it, but Sonia once said, You can't find who's on your side when you're on your lowest. When Jennifer was not sick, David was fine too, but as soon as she got sick, David just didn't want to have any of it, and she just bored David. Michael is definitely like him. If this happens to me, he will be just like David. Long story short, Sonia broke up with Michael because Michael reminded her of David and his bad behavior and now Sonia and I are living together and the three naughty sisters are no longer together. We had two options, either return to our country or work in Dubai. Abigail, we should not return to our country. We should work here and build a good life for ourselves that we deserve. We do not need any men, Sonia told me. She was so smart and always made the best decisions. This was the best decision that Sonia and I made in our lives. We set up a state office and after three years, we were able to become one of the best estate offices in Dubai and earn a lot of money. The good thing about our job was the fact that we met so many good men. But we no longer had any desire to bring a man into our lives. Not that we hate men. We just prefer to enjoy the good life we have provided for ourselves after everything we've been through. 
from a small town for a very normal life and unsuccessful marriages, we are now in a very modern city with the best facilities and living the best life we ever wanted. On the other hand, my daughter Lisa, who has reached a legal age, has come to Dubai to live with me and Sonia. Many times the difficulties that you may experience in your life can lead you to a place you cannot even imagine. Everything that happened was the reason why Sonia and I are now together. We are successful and I am sure that Jennifer, who is not with us anymore, is happy because of our success. She is now resting in peace while giving us positive energy. Well, this was our story. What do you think? Leave a comment for us.